Nixon in China was my first opera, and it's kind of puzzling because uh, I never did really like opera. Uh, I never went to the opera. And if it weren't for Peter Sellers uh, asking me to do this, I probably never would have started writing opera. I was attracted to this idea because, uh, first of all, it was part of my life. Um, you know, I was a college student when Richard Nixon was president, and uh, he tried to send me to Vietnam. So I had, I had very strong feelings about him. And also what was important was the fact that uh, Mao on the one hand, on the left, and Nixon on the right represented the two philosophies of how people might live their lives. You know, the market economy, Nixon, the social welfare state, Mao. I'm often asked if uh, Nixon and China is, is relevant, and uh, yes, it always, uh, every time there's a production of it, something's going on politically in the world. And of course, uh, right now in 2023, uh, we're seeing uh, a very grave situation uh, between uh, the United States and China, suspicion, balloons, possible spying. Um, so, of course, there's a special frisson to uh, this production here in Paris. <laughs> Having Renee Fleming as Pat Nixon and Tom Hampson as the president, uh, it's sort of like a dream. You know, Renee is uh, an immensely intelligent artist. Um, she read deeply about Pat Nixon, took the role very seriously. And her voice has this clarity as she's able to project uh, a warmth and emotion and a simplicity. And Tom, uh, you know, Tom will be the, the most handsome and athletic looking Nixon because Tom is such a, what we say, buff uh, figure himself. And he's familiar with my music. He's sung a piece of mine set to Walt Whitman uh, called The Wound Dresser many times. And he has that sense of depth of emotion. Just you wait till the toasting starts. I uh, first met Gustavo when he was about 20 years old. I, I met him in Caracas. Uh, he was not known at that point, but uh, Simon Rattle had told me about him. And Gustavo's conducted I don't know, many pieces of mine, including several premieres. And he's a wonderful conductor for my music. He understands it rhythmically and uh, emotionally. Um, we have a wonderful friendship. Uh, this is, for me, this is traveling first class. When I look back on this event, which happened in the 1970s, and when I composed it, which was in the mid-1980s, I'm struck by the fact that China was a very, very poor, essentially agricultural country. And when Nixon went there, uh, it, it was unknown to Americans. And when I realize what's happened to China, it's now the world's second largest economy. It's politically not a country I would want to live in, but I am really amazed uh, by what's happened and how much the Chinese people have, have grown over this period. So witnessing this opera in this year, 2023, and thinking back to 1987 when it was premiered, uh, it's, it's quite a historical realization.